Hello everyone, this is Brother Donnie, Country Homestead Preacher. Hope you're having a great day. Just wanted to come with you for a few minutes and give you a little encouragement this evening uh, in God's Word. You know, in this uh, life that we live as being Christians, we are called to be different than the world. And I'm here to tell you this evening that it is okay to be different than the world. Jesus said plainly that all those who would live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. And when you look at those verses, you ask yourself, why did Jesus, all the apostles, and many, many thousands of followers of Christ, why do they suffer? And the reason is because partly they were different than the world. You know, we as believers, we have a different standard than the world. And because we have the standard that is not of this world, that's going to set us apart. Now, that doesn't mean that we're on some kind of pedestal or that we're looking down on people. It just means that we live different than the world, and that sets us apart. You know, in our life, my wife and I's life, we have made many decisions over the years that some people did not agree with. We don't do Halloween. We don't generally do fall festivals. We don't do Santa Claus. There are certain things that we don't anticipate as a family because we believe the Bible has drawn us to that personal conviction. And even on small things like that, we've suffered some persecution, not beatings or afflictions or anything, but just isolation from the family and then some folks at church talking about you and so forth. But you know what, beloved? If that's what it takes to be more like Christ, sign me up because we are called to be different. We have within us the Holy Spirit of God, which convicts us when we sin, keeps us on the right path, and if there's something in your life that you think is trying to pull you into the world or trying to get you into the system of the world, put it uh, to the test of Scripture. Pray about it. Ask the Lord to reveal to you some things. And I assure you, He will uh, show you things that He will set you aside so that you'll be different. You know, one thing that gravely concerns me in the modern day church is that the modern day church is uh, receptive to be like the world. And we bought into this lie that we need to be like the world in order to reach people. Listen, Jesus was not like the world. He came with a sharp, piercing gospel. And that gospel called people to have to acknowledge their own sin and accept him. And he calls us to do the same thing. He calls us to live a standard, not a standard of our making, not a standard that we have just derived from some kind of ancient writings or uh, some kind of mantra that we hold. But his standard that we live by is based on the scriptures. And I tell you, beloved, if you'll follow that standard, you will be separate from this world. Now listen, I'm not talking about legalism. I'm not talking about having to grow your hair to the floor, uh, all your people and your family dressing alike, uh, all this external things. I'm talking about a heart condition to where your heart is separate from the world. You'll know you're getting close to our Lord when what offends him offends you. Can you look on the television dial and uh, change the channels and, and, and can you take your time that the Lord has given you and fill yourself with all kind of nastiness and evil and it doesn't affect you, I want to tell you, beloved, it should. Because what offends Christ should offend us. And it's not that we're perfect people. We're going to make mistakes. But I want to tell you something. The Bible says, be holy for I am holy. And the only way for us to be holy is to walk in the, uh, the, the verse by verse, jot by jot, line by line of God's word. So it's okay to be separate from the world. It's okay to be different. It's okay not to fall into the things of the world. Maybe at work, some of your friends 
uh, tell a lot of crass jokes or maybe even at your church. I want to tell you something. The Bible says clearly, let no unwholesome thing come out of your mouth. So as you serve Christ, look towards him and he will lift you up and he'll help you get there. I'm here to give you encouragement to try to show you what the scripture says. And I hope I've been an encouragement this evening. If it's blessed you, if you would, simply hit the subscribe at the bottom. Uh, you know, I know I can't talk half the time, but hey. We are what we are by the grace of God. Amen. So hit the subscribe at the bottom. Send me an email if you'd like to. Uh, I'll, I'll be glad to pray for you. I'd love to hear some encouragement from you that you are getting something out of these broadcasts. I'm not a, uh, as you can tell, I'm not a uh, polished uh, YouTuber or a polished um, movie maker or whatever i'm just trying to be obedient to the lord of what he's given me to do but i hope you're blessed i hope you uh, go and be with uh, god's people on sunday look forward to talking to you soon bye bye